in Spring Initializer. Create a Maven project with default setting. Name as you wish. Independencies part add Spring Web and Java Mail Sender. Import the project in your IDE and check the API is running properly. Create a separate class for Gmail Sender service for writing the business logic. Annotate it with its service. And inject the Java Mail Sender to the class by an auto-wired annotation. Create a string to store an admin mail ID. The mail which you want to send the OTP. Also create two more variables to store the last generated OTP and another to store the time at which generated. The purpose of this two variable is to check where the OTP given by the user is of the OTP we send to this mail ID. And the time instance is to keep a time limitation. Create a method with void return type. Create a string to store a random generated five digit OTP in the form of string. Assign the string to the variable and also record the time and store to the variable. Create an instance of simple mail sender from Java mail sender dependency. There are methods that helps to get the sender mail ID, receiver mail ID, body, subject, and a lot more. You can go through it all the method later. At last with the injected Java mail sender, we can send the message created by simple message sender. Uh, now create a separate class for controller annotated with that controller or at rest controller. Inject the Gmail service to controller create. Create a method, decorate it with get mapping, and has a response entity of type string. Create a try catch block. In try block, call the Gmail service and its method to send the OTP. And in catch block 4, catch any unaccepted events that may occur during execution. It's in application.property. Just handle the Java mail sender basic configurations. Like host, 
port username, the passcode. If you give your password, it won't run. You can create a passcode in your Gmail account setting. Once you complete your two-step verification, And at last, you can run the Spring Boot applications and get mapping requests from the postman. Make sure to have correct URL dot and check the mail ID. Mention in message class. You will find the OTP, the simple logic to validate the OTP in given duration of time. Thank you for watching my videos. Subscribe my channel and leave a comment and a like.